Telugu Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Economy of Telangana, Telangana Movement Telugu cuisine is a cuisine of South India native to the Telugu people from the states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. It is also the cuisine of the Telugu-speaking population of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu with slight variations due to local influences. Generally known for its tangy, hot, and spicy taste, the cooking is very diverse due to the vast spread of the people and varied topological regions. Regional Variations Coastal Andhra All three regions Coastal Andhra, Rayalaseema, and Telangana have distinctive cuisines, where in semi-arid Telangana state region millet-based breads is predominant staple food while rice is predominant in irrigated Andhra and Rayalaseema regions and ragi is popular in Rayalaseema regions which is predominantly semi-arid. Many of the curries, snacks, and sweets vary in the method of preparation and differ in name, too. Andhra Pradesh state is the leading producer of red chili, rice, and Telangana state is millets in India influences the liberal use of spices making the food one of the richest and spiciest in the world. Vegetarian, as well as meat and seafood, feature prominently on the menus. Dal, tomato, and tamarind are largely used for cooking curries. Spicy and hot varieties of pickles form an important part of Telugu cuisine. There are many regional variations due to topographic differences in Telugu-speaking populations spread over a large area. They can be classified based by region into coastal Andhra, Rayalaseema, Telangana cuisine. Cultural factors that have heavily influenced the cuisine over the years are the eating habits of the Hindu royal, Brahmin, and the Muslim Nawabi royal families. Andhra Pradesh and Telangana state's proximity with western, central, and eastern India makes those border regions' cuisine more diverse with Telugu population spread into neighboring states. Different communities have their own variations and the rural areas still follow the centuries-old cooking habits and recipes. The coastal Andhra region is dominated by Krishna and Godavari Delta regions and is exposed to the long coastline of Bay of Bengal. Hence rice, dal, and seafood are the staple diet of the people. This region has its own variations but ultimately the dishes are predominantly rice-based. This region is one of the largest producers of rice and chilies. Nellari region in the southern part of the region has its own unique recipes, which are markedly different from those in the Uttaranra region. Dolavachuru is a famous soup made from horse gram. Bamadala pulusu is a fish stew that is a specialty of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra cuisine is more dominant in restaurants all over Andhra Pradesh as well as Andhra restaurants in cities like Bangalore, China, and New Delhi. Uttaranra region is the northeastern districts of Srikakulam, Vizianagaram, and Visakhapatnam bordering Orissa state in coastal Andhra. The cuisine of this area has its own distinctive flavors and unique taste while it shares many similarities with Andhra region cuisine. The people of this region like to eat many of their foods sweeter than other regions of Andhra Pradesh. They often cook lentils in jaggery enjoyed with butter and steamed rice. Uttaranra They cook vegetables in gravies of Menthapetanakara, Avapetanakara, Navagundakara, etc. Ullakaram is another popular dish where vegetables or corn seeds are flavored in shallots or onion paste. Puri and patali is a favorite breakfast or festive dish. Patali is soaked split black chickpeas ground to a coarse paste and seasoned in coriander seeds, onions and, at times, with cluster beans. Upyupindai is coarsely broken rice upma steamed with vegetables and tempering seeds. 
This dish is had during festive days when people fast during the day and have it at night. Rayalasima Nguvachuru is a sour and sweet stew made with tamarind and hing. It can be had with rice or upupindai. Bellum pulusu is another highly flavored thick sweet stew made out of rice flour, jaggery, corn cobs, and whole shallots. The pickles vary from other regions of Andhra Pradesh. They sun dry mango pieces with mustard powder, red pepper powder, and salt soaked in sesame oil to give the pickle extended shelf life. The result is a darker hue and sweeter taste. This method is followed to withstand high moisture from the Bay of Bengal coast. Karapadai, popular curry powder that is served with idli, dosa and upma. Telangana Rayalasima, the southern region of Andhra Pradesh, has some unique dishes in its cuisine. Rayalasima cuisine is famous for being spicy because of the liberal use of chili powder in almost all the dishes. Sima Karam is unique to its dishes. Due to its close proximity to Tamil Nadu and South Karnataka, the cuisine is heavily influenced by Tamil Nadu and South Karnataka cuisines. There are different foods and snacks made in the Rayalasima region. Some of the main courses include rice, jhana, ragi roti with a combination of nai as well as rajai sangati, usually served with spinach or pulusu. Ugani is a dish unique to Rayalasima region especially Ananthapuramu, Kurnool and Katapa districts. It is made by boiled paddy corn and is generally yellowish in color due to liberal usage of turmeric powder and is usually served with marapakaya bhaji. Ugani bhaji is served primarily as breakfast but generally eaten as a snack food too. It is spicy and is one of the ethnic and authentic dishes of Rayalasima. Staple Telangana Foods Atayire Salu, Pakam Undalu, Barugu Undalu, and Ravalatu are the sweet specialties. Masala Barugulu, Ponganalu wet rice flour, fry with oil, carrot, onions, chilies are other savory specialties. Telangana Vegetarian Foods the Telangana state lies on the Deccan Plateau and its topography dictates more millet and roti-based dishes. Chaur and Bajra features more prominently in their cuisine. Due to its proximity with Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, and northwest Karnataka, it shares some similarities of the Deccan Plateau cuisine. Telangana in its cuisine there is special place for rotis made from millets, such as janarat, sajarat, or sarva pindai and upyadai pindai. In Telangana a gravy or curry is called kora and pulusu and based on tamarind. A deep fry reduction of the same is called vipudu. Kodi pulusu and mamsam vipudu are popular dishes in meat. Vankia brinjal pulusu or vipudu. Arantakeya banana pulusu or vipudu are one of the many varieties of vegetable dishes. Telangana palakura is a spinach dish cooked with lentils eaten with steamed rice and rotis. Peanuts are added as special attraction and in Karamnagar district, cashew nuts are added. Telangana non-vegetarian foods Popular Telangana curry dishes include bodhi and thunti koram made out of red sorrel leaves. Pot lakeya pulusu, or snake gourd stew is one of the daily staple dish. Sakinalu is the most popular dish made of rice flour during festivals like Dushira and Sankranthi makes it very delicious and one of its kind dishes of South India. In Telangana regions tamarind, red chilies, and asafoetida are predominantly used in Telangana cooking. Roselle is a major staple used extensively in curries and pickles. Some of the famous food of Telangana 
Snacks and Savories Sugar Madugulu is a sweet made with milk and butter with sugar coating, and Farda Fini is another sugar-coated crispy wafer sweet. Recent years has seen a resurgence of Telangana cuisines in restaurants around Hyderabad with the availability of Telangana Thali dish for lunch. A typical Andhra breakfast consists of a few chosen from the items listed below. Usually it consists of idli, gerlu aka veda, minipatu aka dosa. Tea, coffee, or milk is sometimes taken with these dishes. The most common dishes are Andhra breakfast Lunch and dinner are elaborate affairs in many Telugu households. In a majority of urban households, the food is served on stainless steel or porcelain plates, while in traditional and rural households, the food is served on banana leaf. The banana leaf is used during festivals, special occasions, and for guests. Many restaurants in middle budget in smaller towns use banana leaves for serving. At times, Vistareko is used. The traditional packing material for long journeys was sun-dried banana leaves. Andhra Lunch and Dinner For presentation, papu and koralu are placed to the right of the diner, while spiced pickles, pashedi, a saucy condiment with yogurt and vegetables and papula podi and nai are placed to the left. On some occasions special items such as polihora and gerlu are placed at the top right. A large scoop of anam is placed in the middle. Small amounts of nai is added on rice, Avakaya mango pickle and gongara roselle leaf pickle are two varieties of pickles which mark the spice and flavor of Andhra cuisine. Sarva pindai, a spicy pancake, is a staple breakfast, made with rice flour, chana dal, ginger, garlic, sesame seeds, curry leaves and green chilies, puntakura chana dal, a vegetarian alternative to gongura gosht, chana dal is cooked in spices and tempered with mustard and curry leaves, bache likara, a tangy spinach curry cooked with tamarind paste, pachipulusu, a spicy sour ray sam made with tamarind, chili, and onions. Anam is a staple of the entire meal and is typically mixed with the other course using the right hand. It is the main source of carbohydrates. Spiced pickles, patch atis, podis and papadam are available as condiments. The order of a meal is to start with modhadi muda with an appetizer of an origaya followed by a papu, which can be made with vegetables added or eaten plain with a pickle. It is the main source of protein for vegetarians. This is followed by a couple of Kora varieties either only vegetarian or a combination of vegetarian and non-vegetarian for getting their vitamins and minerals. A papu or ray sam or a churu or as mahjiga accompanied by a spicy pickle or any of the other condiments. Sajarati, Makarati, Sarvapindai, Upyadupindai, Kudumulu, Railpalaram, Pasham. Done in two ways, one with jaggery and milk and the other with taliakala prepared of dough, odapa, pialalu, sabhudhana upma, and tavuls also called as baji, katambam, makagudalu, babarlagudalu, sala pachipulsu, pachipulusu, atukalu, poha, makajona gerlu, ponganalu. Saja kudumula with onion chutney, sadhulu, varieties of rice, mainly cooked for sadhula bathukama festival different flavors are as follows sesame. Ground nuts, Bengal gram coconut, tamarind, lemon, mango, yogurt, gudalu, prepared with different beans, black eye beans, corns, chana. Sprouts along with some spice and onion, sakinalu, rice flour snack, garge, 
a sweet filled with a combination of either sugar or jaggery, with lentils, rotu takalu, are famous again, generally, they are prepared by semi-fry the vegetables and grind it on a stone grinder tools, or in a mixer with adding thadka to it. Kalgura, mixed vegetable curry generally prepared during Sankranthi festival. After meal pan or samph, is offered in traditional households. On festival or auspicious occasions, sweet is served with the meal, which is usually eaten first. Vegetarian Presentation Course and servings Kora slash kara slash curry Kora, kora is a generic word for a protein-based dish. The actual dishes are called by the material used and the style they are cooked. The different methods of cooking are Idli, urad dal and rice steamed dumplings, often eaten with freshly made chutney or with nai added and sprinkled with karap poti or chutney and sambar. Paputur dal or mung dal cooked with a vegetable or green. No masala is added to the dal. Some regions include garlic and onion in the seasoning while some regions prefer asafoetida. Sometimes the cooked version of the dal is replaced with a roast and ground version of the dal like candy pashadi and pasara pashadi. A very popular andra combo is muda papu with avakaya. Pulusu is a curry-like stew that is typically sour and cooked with tamarind paste. Other common bases are tomatoes or mangoes. The mixture can be flavored with mustard, chilies, curry leaves, jaggery, onions, or fenugreek. Fish, chicken, and eggs are typical meat additions. Pachi pulusu is an unheated version of pulusu typically made of mangoes or tamarind consumed during warm months. Viputu, crispy fried vegetables, typically including, okra, ivy gourd, potato, colocasia and several regional vegetables but prepared separately for different days, papakora, boiled vegetables stir-fried with a small amount of half-cooked lentils, Poti, mixed with rice and spoonful of ghee or sesame oil, gajaju, tomato or coriander seed base adding drumstick, brinjal, okra etc., pulusu, pulusu kora slash ava peti kora, boiled vegetables cooked in tamarind sauce and mustard paste are two main. Varieties of pulusu Paragu, the last item of the meal Paragu is normally consumed with an accompaniment like pashadi or oragaya. Pashadi and oragaya are two broad varieties of pickles that are used at times with rice. Pashadi is like a sauce typically made of vegetables slash greens and roasted green slash red chilies. It is prepared fresh and is consumed within a day or two due to a short shelf life. Oragaya is prepared in massive amounts seasonally and uses liberal amounts of chili powder, methai powder, mustard powder, and ground nut oil. For a typical andrite, no meal is complete without this essential item. It is consumed on its own mixed with rice or is also eaten as a side dish with papu slash kora. Apart from a sizable population who are vegetarians, most of the population cook non-vegetarian dishes. The state has abundant seafood and has extensively established poultry industry. Lamb meat is another traditional fare cooked with century-old recipes. Papu Apart from Hyderabadi biryani, the rest of the state has its own recipe and generally known as Palav or Andhra biryani. Kodi Palav is one of the most enjoyed dishes across all of the state. Royala Palav made with shrimps is considered a delicacy in homes of coastal Andhra Pradesh. Mutton biryani and mixed biryani are the other popular biryani dishes generally available in restaurants. 
There are many local variations such as Kaja Biryani, Kunda Biryani. Kodi Kora and Mutton Kora are two popular dishes, often made with a range of spices and condiments. The gravy base is usually onions, tomato, coriander, tamarind, and coconut. These gravies are mixed with steamed rice on the plate during lunch. Also pepper is used for fried meat dishes. Popular dishes served commonly in Andhra-style restaurants include the spicy, Andhra chili chicken, chicken roast, and mutton pepper fry. Among seafood, tamarind base is widely used. The state's large shrimp farming makes shrimp and prawns widely available. Andhra restaurant chains and hotels are very popular in other states due to its extensive variety of meat in the menu. Pulusu Pickles Non-vegetarian These curries are usually served with steamed rice, bagara kuna, sajaroti or jana roti. Andhra cuisine has some native non-vegetarian snacks such as Kodi Pakadai, Chicken 65, Pitha Pakadai, Shepa Vipudu, Royala Vipudu etc. Other snacks inspired from Indo-Chinese cuisine such as Chicken 65, Chicken Lollipop, Chili Chicken etc. are also extensively available but they will be generally modified by using generous amounts of spices and chilies. Paimavaram town in West Godavari district is very famous for its unique non-veg pickles such as chicken pickle, shrimp pickle and fish pickles. The agency area near Rajamundri is very famous for Bangu chicken curry. Evening snacks at home, many savory snacks make an appearance during evenings. These include Pakadai Sweets and savories form an important part of Telugu culture. Made on festive and auspicious occasions, they are given to visiting relatives. Some of the savories are also made for the evening snack. Some more to name in rural Andhra Pradesh, agriculture is the predominant occupation. Some centuries-old cooking practices, especially the use of mud pots, are still in vogue but are being replaced by steel utensils in recent decades. The earlier recipes in each village were also largely dictated by what was grown and available locally. In the drier districts, Jaur, Bajra, and Ragi are still in use, while eating rice is seen as symbol of prosperity. In delta and coastal districts, rice takes a major role in cooking. Sweets and Savories Rural Cuisine Mehjiga Pulusu, sour buttermilk boiled with chana dal and coconut paste, Menthai chala slash menthai mehjiga, sour buttermilk seasoned with ginger slash green chili paste and menthai seeds fried in oil, mukala pulusu. Talakaya kara, a hearty, rustic meat gravy with bold flavors. This delicacy is made with the lamb's head, coriander, and spices, shepala pulusu a luscious fish curry redolent with freshly ground spices and tamarind juice, in Duchapala Vankya, a flavorsome dry fish gravy cooked with brinjal, royala kara, prawns cooked in a tangy paste of tamarind and onion, gongaram mamsam, a spicy curry made with tender lamb pieces cooked in gravy of gongara and freshly ground green chili paste, kodi gudla pulusu, Egg curry flecked with chopped onions, green chilies and bright bits of coriander. Upma, Bundi, Kaarapusa, Panganalu, Baji and Bandalu or Punukalu, or stuffed with spices and dipped in chickpea batter and fried with spicy DIPs. Uli Kaadala Pakadai asterisk Sana Pakadai asterisk Vankia Pakadai. Putharekolu, 
a famous sweet preparation where sweet powder with cardamom flavor is stuffed into very thin pancake skins made of rice flour. Kaja variations of this sweet preparation i.e., Madatha Kaja and Kakanada Kaja are relished across the state. Sakinalu is one of the most popular savouries, it is often cooked during Makara Sankranti festival season. This a deep fried snack made of rice flour, sesame seeds, and flavored with ajwain. Kaji Kai is a fried dumpling with the stuffing of suji, dry coconut powder, and sugar. It is usually prepared during deep avali. Sunandalu, lato made from with roasted urad dal and jaggery slash sugar a generous amount of ghee is added to enhance to the taste. Bundi Latu, Purnam Buralu aka. Purnalu, china dal is cooked to soft and cooled, jaggery and cardamom powder are added and the mix is rolled into balls. These balls are then batter fried. The batter that is used is made from murad dal. This sweet preparation is usually served during festive lunch, ravalatu, bakshalu or babatlu or polalu, tapeswaram kaya, pulagam aka. Pongali, a sweet preparation made on a festive morning as offering for the deity. Soaked rice is cooked in a generous amount of milk usually in the ratio of 1, 2.5 when the rice is cooked well broken jaggery is added and finished with a splash of ghee and fried dry fruits, payasam, gavalu, chakoti, chakkara pongali, laskora undalu or raskora undalu, bundi, palathalakalu, ravakesari, papacheka, jidalu, Malakaja, traditional nellery sweet, kabari lavuju, grated coconut flesh in molten jaggery or sugar syrup, venapalu.